I'm with Gail Saronda. She is a well-known Australian fashion designer and we're here in James Street at Fortitude Valley in Brisbane, which is really the shopping hub of Southeast Queensland. Gail, it's good to see you and I'm amazed how this place has changed over the years and how it really is now a destination for people who come to Brisbane and want to shop. Hello, lovely to meet you today. And yes, it is a beautiful cosmopolitan outdoor, indoor shopping precinct. And your label's been going for about 14 years. Can you tell us exactly you know, how you got started and uh, where you are today? Because you've been recognized by a lot of big uh, names in the fashion industry around the world over the years. Um, I got started um, graduating from Queensland University of Technology. I did a Bachelor of Fine Arts Fashion Design and with my graduate collection um, I won a national competition which enabled me to show at Australian Fashion Week for the first time with the graduate collection and that then launched me nationally and I was able to sell um, yeah, nationally and internationally from that point. We'll talk more about your journey in a minute, but just tell us about your clothes because I can see it's very stark. It's black and white, monochrome style, very classy. Tell us about, um, you know, if people are kind of visualising it, what should they think? Um, I am inspired by the opposite and equal reaction th of things. And I, so I do think that um, black and white is the most symbolic representation of that. Um, it's almost like the natural order. And I love the idea of almost synthesizing the opposites and bringing them together and making finding balance within that. Um, and, you know, a lot of pieces in black will have a different feeling to pieces in white. And, um, yeah, that's always very interesting to me. I feel like there's infinite possibilities um, with something as simple as that um, and the idea that silhouette and texture um, are like a motivating design process. And is it interesting that you've come up with that having grown up in southeast Queensland with all the colours and the beach and the blue sky, mm. the birds, cockatoos, <laughs> uh, my favourite bird. Uh, how, how did you arrive at this? Um, you know what? It's like it's just something very personal and I think it's just sort of like evolved almost subconsciously that then became like an expression that I had to meet and um you manifest things um, as part of like a process of discovery and maybe, I don't know, it's just honouring something that I like is important to me. Um, it's probably wrapped up in some past life thing, I don't know. but <laughs> <laughs> Could well be, could well be. Uh, and just paint the picture for people listening about James Street and this uh, fashion enclave uh, where we can walk around outside. It's a beautiful sunny day. There, There's greenery everywhere, some really cool buildings and all these independent Aussie fashion labels. Um, so paint a picture of James yeah, just tell, yeah, tell us about what, what people what might see, see, you know, if they were going to come here for the first time, because I, I'm amazed at how it's changed, you know, since I last lived in, in southeast Queensland more than 25 years ago. Yeah, um, I think it's a beautifully um, curated outdoor, indoor um, shopping experience. I think people want to... Um, I don't know, like see greenery in an inner city shopping space and um, where like all the more conscious of like, you know, um, that, you know, nature and kind of connecting with that. And I think, you know, consume, like bringing, you know, consumerism to nature and vice versa and being able to eat out with like, you know, the sun shining, being able to look out into um outside into the sky and you know having the trees and I don't know it's like it's it's also not just that it's architecturally designed beautifully um and considered there is like a um yeah there is a considered approach to the precinct that I think is unlike anywhere else in Australia and I think it um yeah it's it's just such a unique space in many regards with Australian fashion designer Gail Saronda here at James Street in, in Fortitude Valley. You know, I, look, I'm from Sydney and uh, I've spent a lot of time in Melbourne and um, a lot of people might think, oh, look, you know, just go to Melbourne and Sydney to shop for uh, high-end independent Aussie brands. But, you know, Brisbane's come into its own, hasn't it? Um, it has. I think there's a lot of um, bubbling energy here and I think people, you know, are... Um, like it's a new city in the scheme of things but there is a lot of ingenuity and um there's forward thinking um people that are you know paving the way 
in the global landscape. And I think, um, yeah, I think James Street is definitely part of that. Well, we know your shop is one to visit. What other shops, you know, nearby can people get some really cool Australian stuff, would you say? You know, when we look at your, your neighbours and I can see lots of uh, people bustling and, and looking to, to buy stuff here. Um, I think, you, yeah, you don't have to walk far. There's like um, a really great um, perfume shop called Libertine and they, it's like walking into a now, like a shop of alchemy. Like there's really thoughtful um, curation of... Um, of perfumes that they find and objects. And um, you can also go into, um, you know, my neighbor's like Optico and they've got a beautiful, um, beautiful selection of sunglasses and, um, you know, and they're also uh, optometrists as well. Um, and then you've got Camarg, um, which is a, a great curation of um, labels from all around the world brought um, to Brisbane. Um, and Lee Matthews, like there's, it just goes on and on. There's a lot of different stores that have something special to offer. And they're also close together. That's what I love about it. And you've got the markets and it's, uh, you know, got that kind of Southeast Queensland meets New York City. That's how I describe it. And, uh, you know, when we look at your personal journey, we touched on it in the, you know, uh, at the start of this interview, but you've definitely got the inspiration from Europe and you've been recognised by a lot of big names across Europe. So how did that happen? Um, I don't know if I got my inspiration from Europe. I think I've always kind of stayed true to myself, but I definitely feel like um, it's been really, um, it's been really nice to be of risk to have been received well um, for what I do overseas, um, you know, by people that I do respect. And, you know, they've been, I guess, like, I don't know, it's just been encouraging, I guess, for the journey. So, yeah, Karl yeah. Lagerfeld, right? And um, yeah, that was, um, yeah, actually with one of my graduate pieces when he guest edited um, UKL, he said I was a name to watch. And, um, and then there's, yeah, I guess like being a finalist um, in Vogue Italia's Who's On Next um, when Franca Cesani was editor um, was like, you know, a really special moment as well and being able to meet Giorgio Armani and, and all the icons, Corinne Reutfeld, um, you know, and just having those conversations and engagement with them and encouragement was, you know, really important, I guess, in my journey. I mean, how did you feel, you know, yeah, a relatively young person from Southeast Queensland and all these uh, big names from, from Europe, from Italy, are recognising you. Vogue Italia, you're a finalist there. What did you think? Um, it was, yeah, it was definitely a very surreal experience um, and I don't take it for granted. Um, you know, I think I was maybe, you know, it's just a fortunate um constellating moment in my life where I got to meet some really amazing people and um, yeah and I will definitely treasure that. Um, also being um, get receiving an email when I came back to Brisbane from um, Dolce Gabbana to um, to sell in their store um, in Via della Spiga in Milan was also like a, a really a great turning point too um, and yeah and, and being able to like curate my own order was very unusual as well so um, I've had some really un like unusual and special uh, moments along the journey which I'm very grateful for. I'm sitting here with Australian uh, designer Gail Saronda in her store in uh, James Street in Fortitude Valley it's quite a small store Gail isn't it but we, we can see all the wonderful um, bits of clothing can you just tell us as we look up you know what what people might see if they step into your store here? Um, I often say that you should try pieces on because they do come to life on the body. Um, I feel like, you know, in our store, we offer that opportunity to, you know, style you and for you to, um, yeah, try on the pieces. And that's, I think, what's special about bricks and mortar stores, like in an ever increasing, like, um, you know, Challenges, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, everybody, you know, is like a lot of people are buying online these days, but I think there is like a, a comeback to that tangible experience and that, um, yeah, that 
it's like communion between people, which is quite cool. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm a bit old fashioned, but I guess I, I want to ask you how much of your business is done in the brick and mortar store here at Fortitude Valley in Brisbane and how much are you doing online? And what about your supply chains and all that? Yeah, and um, we're doing actually the majority of our business through our bricks and mortar. Um, we do sell online as well, which is good. Um, we've, um, yeah, we're not doing our wholesale at the moment. Um, and I stopped doing that um, when I had our daughter, Juniper, and we've just kind of been happy maintaining the status quo. And it's been, yeah, it's been actually real a real joy to be able to do it like this. And you get some pretty cool requests. You were just saying off air about uh, doing bridesmaid dresses uh, for a, a friend in Paris. Is that right? Yeah, I don't often um, do um, bespoke, but she's been a very good customer of ours for, um, I guess, since the inception of the label. And um, she, um, her daughter works at Louis Vuitton and um, she was having a, her wedding in Paris, but she's from Brisbane originally. And um, we, yeah, we did her bridesmaids dresses. Actually, they were based upon designs that I had done originally while living in Paris. Um, and they went through the archive and we customised it. So it had like a, a nice relation to her wedding dress, which was designed by Tony Matuszewski, who, um, I actually wore as my second bride's wedding dress when I got married as well. So oh, it's nice like, connection it's a, there. yeah, it's funny how things sort of um, do that. But um, Deborah, um, her mom is like a very good customer and um, as is Charlotte. And um, yeah, she has got like, um, I think the second largest collection of Stephen Jones hats in the world. And yeah, she's, she's a very like a unique special person to Brisbane. Well, that's what I like about, you know, your clothes is that they are, uh, able to be worn across generations, not specifically for millennials or baby boomers, but anyone can enjoy it from a you know grandmother to a, a mother to the to the child. So people listening out there, how can they find out more about uh, Gail Saronda? Um, you can find us on Instagram, Gail Saronda, or um, on our website, um, www.gailsaronda.com. Well, look, it's been really nice to talk to you and sit here in the peace of your lovely boutique. Uh, Gail, thank you very much. And definitely, I'm going to check out more of the stores here in, in James Street, uh, Fortitude Valley. Wish you all the best uh, with your journey, 14 years and going strong. Yeah, thank you so much. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs>